Hotel Echo Lima Lima Oscar. Good evening from London, England. Or should I say, good morning, good afternoon, or good night and rest well. From your host, your guy himself, the one and only and truly DLG Repping. Bringing you live um, recording of my football channel. <coughs> so, um, welcome again. And uh, before I get into the subject of an individual Arsenal striker, I would like you to smash the thumbs up like button if you've got an opinion about my channel, about the subject um, that I want to talk about. Leave it in the comment section below. Um, your views, your messages, your opinions, etc. Leave it in the comment section below, yeah? Positive feedback only. That's what DLG Repping only promotes. Share this channel all over the globe for me virally, yeah? And make sure your friends and relatives get hold of this. And if they've... If any one of your friends and relatives are watching for the first time, tell them to share it amongst their friends and relatives. Also, subscribe to the channel. And speaking of subscribe, um, shout out to yourself, um, my G, um, Scouse from The Ends. Massive shout out to you, man. Thanks for the um, subscribe. Um, hope to um, hear much from you or... Uh, you you obviously hope to hear much from me, and um, I'm shouting you out, yeah. And if you shout, and if I shout you out, yeah, that's because you've subscribed. So keep subscribing. Let's push this to a thousand and over subscribers. Why not? Especially when the musical intro and um, the editing um, comes into um, fruition. So let's keep this channel moving and growing with a number of subscribers, like comments, etc., etc. Yeah. I'll do my part here by keeping it consistent, but you guys got to do your part by um, keeping it, um, or keep, yeah, keeping it going and helping me to um, grow the channel. So I can't do it without you guys. So thank you, you viewers. Anyway, let's get into it. Yeah, <clears throat> this is uh, my personal view on Pierre Emerick Aubameyang's future as well as his um, form. Now, um, back in January 2018, I believe, we signed Aubameyang for, at the time, a club record, £60 million. <coughs> he was bought from Borussia Dortmund. And for me, delight all over the fan base. I ain't going to lie. I was delighted we signed a proven world-class striker. He... Became a hit straight away, even before he kicked the ball. But the biggest moment was um, when he um, scored in his debut um, against Everton in the 5-1 win. And he um, cleverly chipped the goalkeeper. It might have been Pickford. <coughs> but um, before that goal, he showed us um, why we were all excited. Because he he was playing in, um, behind um, in front of Mazur Ozil. And Mazur Ozil played him a pass in that match. And his pace sprinted before the Everton defence. And um, yeah, it was thwarted by Pickford. But he wasn't to be denied on his um, debut. And that's an Arsenal goal at the Emirates. And for me, that was a special moment. That's when we knew we had... Bought a proven world-class striker. Um, he's been captain numerous times by Gabon. Um, he started his career, I believe, at St Etienne. And then he had a spell at um, AC Milan. And um, I think he went back to St Etienne. And then he went, then he um, was bought by Borussia Dortmund. And, well, what a striker he became for them. I mean, we, we had to pay £60 million for him. It made sense. Credit to Monsieur Wenger. Put respect on his name where respect is deserved. He um, told the hierarchy, I want us to smash the record to get this man in with Lacazette. Um, 
for two seasons, he carried us on his shoulder, on his back, single-handedly carried us and banged in a number of goals, won the golden boot, you know. But sadly, uh, well, I'll come to the sad part in a minute. For me, um, from when um, he was um, rumoured to sign the contract extension, um, he kept um, us waiting, kept us in the dark. Well, yeah, kept us waiting in the dark. And all we need is clarity at the time, as soon as possible. But in the last, or well, it's like in the last minute, he decided to sign a new deal. And that was for £375,000 a week. If you include his agent fees, if you include what he's taken home per year. I mean, he enjoys his, um, his motor. If you look at his uh, motor, he's whew, out of this earth. I ain't going to lie. But his form the last season was completely abysmal. For someone who has banged in a lot of goals throughout his whole career. This is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang we're talking about. And despite the fact that he was in his late 20s, we knew that um, at some point his pace was going to die down by at least 40% or 45%. And that seems to be the case. Not only has his form been... Um, Abysmal to be the truthful. I just don't get what he actually brings to the team when he's off form. You know, he was club captain for as long as as long as 18 months about that. And um he's never hit the levels he knows that he's very capable of. I personally believe that possibly giving him the captain's armband itself was far too heavy for the man. I mean, his wages a lot. His wages alone is heavy enough as it is. Don't get me wrong. £375,000 a week as a f football player, whether I'm good at the sport or not. I'll tell you something. I'll take that. But would I have personally, as the CEO or... Managing director, etc., giving him that money. Mm, that's debatable because I'll have to sit on the fence here. I can't say yes or no. I might have to sit on the fence. But thinking about the captaincy, you know, while he was captain, his form declined, and the younger players like Bakayo Saka, Emil Smith Rowe. Gabriel Martinelli, these younger players have um, outshone him and he's meant to be the example. He is meant to set the tone in that changing room. He's distracted by social media. He's got no problems showing himself off on social media with um, name brand clothing and his flash cars. I've got no problem with it, but he's got to set an example as a role model. When you're not on that pitch, banging in the goals to help Arsenal progress, then you set an example off the pitch and he hasn't. He's not been late just once, he's been late twice. And there's maybe some report, or God knows what, stating that he was late on more than several occasions. You know, that's not just... A disrespect there. That's a breach of ill discipline. And for all the criticism I've thrown at Mikel Arteta, excuse me, I think he made the correct call. Should he have come out and said it, what he said in public? I would have to say no, for the simple fact is. <coughs> We know that he should, we we all we should know is Abamyang has been stripped of the captaincy for 
football reasons. And, well, I just think he should, um, I don't think they should have come out with it. But I think he's come out with it because he wants to make an example of him. And he's per, he's prepared to let any Arsenal player know, if you step out of line, if you think you can violate me, I'll make an example out of you in public. And make an example out of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in public, it needed to happen. Because if this grown-ass man at 32 years of age does not learn from this, and yet he is going to be training on his own as we speak. He is training on his own, sorry, as we speak. And if he doesn't learn from this, then he's a bigger fool. And his future right now, if I'm being totally honest, I would be so surprised to see him in a red and white shirt at the Emirates kicking the ball for the Arsenal. I think he's lost that captaincy for good. It will go to one of the younger members of the team. I'm not talking Bakayo, Gabriel Martinelli, Emil Smith, the boys at the back. Tomiyasu, strong defender, but I don't think he's that vocal enough. Ben White is a candidate. Aaron Ramsdale is a big candidate, but I think the overwhelming overwhelming favourite and Scotland in, in international in the future going to be a future world-class left-back. Kieran Tierney gets it. He's, for me, that professional guy. Um, wants to, it, it seems to me that he wants to turn up on time for training, get on with his drills, imp- show the management that he's willing to impress himself and willing to be a future um a present and future fixture within the Arsenal starting 11 for a long long time to come that's an example I want and you know something yeah he's willing to talk to experienced ex-professionals and get help or get the best advice about his football career that's the attitude I like as an Arsenal fan. That's the attitude and the example that should be set by an Arsenal player. If he's not an Arsenal fan, it's irrelevant. I want an an example set as a captain. I want my captain to be professional, especially off the pitch. And Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has done none of those. Hence the reason why he does not play for Arsenal. Arteta has said when asked the question, is he likely to feature for Arsenal? We just he replies is his reply is we just go by game by game. Just come out in the open and say it how it is, Mikel. He is not going to play for Arsenal again, and your plan is to get shot of him in the summer. We're not idiots. We kind of get what is going on, but we don't see. What goes on behind the scene? I just thought I'd get that out of the way. And um, end it here by saying, ladies to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, thank you so ever so much for listening. Thank you so ever so much for tuning in, for watching. As I always say, saving the best to last. Thank you so ever so much for putting up with me. (laughs) <laughs> fresh haircut I'll have a shave um, later on tonight until then I'm out of here but again peace again love again and bless again take care of your friends take care of your families take care of yourselves um, stay safe protect yourself from the coronavirus and until then until next time DLG Repping will talk again. Just please be nice.